a number for Wednesday, kids. Join me as we learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Jurel, and welcome to our class. Division is one of the four fundamental operations in math. We use this in daily life such as sharing food with our friends, dividing our notebooks by quarter, and many more. For today's session, we will talk about solving word problems involving money using division. Are you ready, kids? Come on, and let us begin our number full journey. Before we proceed to our discussion for today, I would like to invite you all to a magical learning experience at home with Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. You may enroll in a standalone program in math for grades 1 to 10. Check the link in the description to learn how. As we learn how to solve word problems involving money, we will answer these two questions. First, what are the keywords to remember in division? Second, what are the steps in solving word problems? Are you ready? Let's go! First, let's review division. Division is used when splitting something into equal parts or groups. How about the parts of a division sentence? The number being divided is called the dividend. Well, the number by which the dividend is being divided is called the divisor. And the answer in division is called the quotient. Now, let's review the words that describe division. Come on, repeat after me. Divide. Divided by. Each. Between. Half. Share. Cut up. And how many in each? These keywords will help you in choosing division in solving word problems. Now, can you help me find the keywords that imply division in this set of word problems? Let's read the word problem together. Granny May has 1,000 pesos and she plans to give it to her four grandchildren. If the money is divided equally among them, how much money will each grandchild get? Can you spot the two division keywords used in this word problem? Nice! It's divided and each. Let's have another one. A school held a field trip last weekend. If there are 25 students who paid a total of 18,750 pesos for the field trip fees, how much did each student pay? What keyword that implies division was used in this word problem? Fantastic! It's each. Now that we know the division keywords to look for in a word problem, let's start solving. Let's recall the steps in solving a word problem. Step 1. Identify the given. Step 2. Identify what is asked. Step 3. Formulate the number sentence. Step 4. Solve the number sentence. And step 5. Write the final answer. Let's apply these steps in solving the word problems earlier. Let's read the word problem together. Granny May has 1,000 pesos and she plans to give it to her four grandchildren. If the money is divided equally among them, how much money will each grandchild get? For step 1, let's understand the problem. Let's look at the given. Granny May has 1,000 pesos. She has 4 grandchildren. For step 2, let's identify what is asked. We are asked to find the amount of money each grandchild will get if the money is divided equally among them. Can you spot the keyword used in this question? Awesome! The keywords used are divided and each. 
Remember that divided and each are keywords for division. That means we will use division in this word problem. For step 3, let's formulate the number sentence. To find the amount of money each grandchild will get, we must divide the total money of Granny Mae to the number of grandchildren. So, the equation will be 1,000 pesos divided by 4 equals N, where N represents the amount of money each grandchild will get. For step 4, let's solve the number sentence. Let's use the long division method to solve the equation. One divided by four equals zero. Zero times four equals zero. One minus zero equals one. Next, we bring down the second digit of the dividend, which is zero. Ten divided by four equals two. Two times four equals Eight. Ten minus eight equals two. Now we bring down the next digit, which is zero. Twenty divided by four equals five. Five times four equals twenty. Twenty minus twenty equals zero. Then we bring down the next digit which is zero. Zero divided by four equals zero. Zero times four equals zero. Zero minus zero equals zero. That means we have no remainder. Hence, 1,000 divided by 4 equals 250. Lastly, for step 5, write the final answer. Write the required unit in the final answer, especially if the problem is asking for the amount of money. Therefore, Granny May's grandchildren will receive 250 pesos each. Good job! Now, Let's try to answer this word problem. Let's read the word problem together. A school held a field trip last weekend. If there are 25 students who paid a total of 18,750 pesos for the field trip fees, how much did each student pay? For step 1, let's understand the problem. The total amount of money collected is 18,750 pesos. There are 25 students who paid for the field trip fees. For step 2, let's identify what is asked. We are asked to find the amount of money each student paid for the field trip fees. Can you spot the keyword used in this question? Awesome! The keyword used is each. Remember that each is a keyword for division. That means we will use division in this word problem. For step 3, let's formulate the number sentence. Since we need to divide the total amount of money collected from the field trip fees to the number of students, our equation will be 18,750 pesos divided by 25 equals N, where N represents the amount of money each student paid for the field trip fees. For step 4, let's solve the number sentence. Again, let's use long division in solving this problem. 1 divided by 25 equals 0. 0 times 25 equals 0. 1 minus 0 equals 1. 
Then we bring down the second digit of the dividend, which is 8. 18 divided by 25 equals 0. 0 times 25 equals 0. 18 minus 0 equals 18. Then we bring down the third digit of the dividend, which is 7. 187 divided by 25 equals 7. 7 times 25 equals 175. 187 minus 175 equals 12. Then we bring down the fourth digit of the dividend, which is 5. 125 divided by 25 equals 5. 5 times 25 equals 125. 125 minus 125 equals 0. Then we bring down the last digit of the dividend which is 0. 0 divided by 25 equals 0. 0 times 25 equals 0. 0 minus 0 equals 0. That means we have no remainder. So, 18,750 divided by 25 equals 750. Lastly, for step 5, write the final answer. Therefore, the amount of money each student paid for the field trip fees is 750 pesos. You did great, kids! Now, let's go back to our two questions earlier. The keywords to remember in division are divide, divided by, each, between, share, half, cut up, and how many in each. Meanwhile, these are the steps in solving word problems. Step 1. Identify the given. Step 2. Identify what is asked. Step 3. Formulate the number sentence. Step 4. Solve the number sentence. And Step 5. Write the final answer. You are fantastic! I hope you learned a lot about solving word problems involving money today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And of course, to experience the magical learning at home with Vibal's Happy Homeschool program, check the link in the description box. Again, this is Teacher Jerome, and see you on our next Number Fool Wednesday.